Shot Shivers Ain't Bite Podcast, episode 47. We got special guests, man. Ashley, her brother was on the uh, show like two episodes ago mm-hmm. or whatever, uh, Jay Pitts. So, uh, yeah, we got his, uh, you know, sister, uh, Jazzy. She's a singer, songwriter, also a painter. I saw that. Yes. Thank you know, get your paint on, brand ambassador. <laughs> Jazzy, how you doing? I'm doing good. No, That's what's up. I appreciate you coming. Yeah, you was, you was on time. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Last I couple, tried. Last couple people we had, hour late, two hours. Oh, no, I tried. Like, I was mad about that four minutes. Like, we could shave it down a little bit. <laughs> for but sure, nah. for sure, for sure. But uh, we usually start the show off by uh, salute me while I'm here. Uh, you salute somebody, you know what I'm saying? But the thing about it, you don't salute the regulars. You know, mom, dad, kids, you know what I'm saying, siblings. Try to think out, out, outside of that. Okay. If you, if you need to think, I can go before you. So you can, you know what I'm saying, think about who you're going to uh, shout out. Yeah, uh, go ahead. I'm going to go with uh, a girl named Sherelle Carter. She a, a pod, no, not a podcast host, a TV show host, because she don't have a podcast. It's called uh, Lex Talk, uh, the show. Um, she been doing it for a minute. I actually interviewed her, like, um, damn, that was what I was here. <laughs> I actually interviewed her, like, a couple of episodes ago, man. She got a good podcast. Uh, her followers ain't high, but she still get some good uh, guests to come on the show. They talk about things in ranges of, of uh, pregnancy, um... Um, um, marijuana. They they got a lot of different topics that they've been touching on. She had rapper on the show that signed with Maybach Music Group and stuff. She doing her thing. So uh, I just wanted to salute her. If y'all don't follow her, follow her. Let's talk the oh, show. Let me get mine ready, you know what I'm saying? On um on IG and uh, Sherelle Carter on uh on Facebook and IG. So that's my salute. Keep grinding. Keep moving. I got mine. I'm about to get the so you can plug her page. Right, I want to salute my friend Tiara. Mm-hmm. She goes by Jazar Music on Instagram. Mm-hmm. And she's been doing her thing. She's been out here grinding. I've been seeing her doing performances and everything and just um, building up her numbers, building up her fan base. And she's inspiring to me. So I just wanted to shout her out. That's okay. Jazar Music. And they, like, y'all grew up together? Y'all been friends for a while? We've been friends for. Mm, like 2010, okay. 11, something like that. All right, 19 years, or whatever. And you say she do music too, huh? Mm-hmm. Okay, that's what's up. She been doing it for a while. Yes. Um, I remember going to her first performance she did at uh Sound Off Sundays. Mm-hmm. And since then, she's been booking shows every single time. She's sending in my DMs like, got a show here, show here, show yeah. here, and I just see her grind. So that's what's up. Her. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, gotta grind, gotta grind, gotta keep moving. All that stuff. Even with the COVID, still gotta do some type mm-hmm. of way. But uh, we know we always start off, you know what I'm saying, growing up. It's funny because I already kind of know about your family. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Your dad being from Belize, <laughs> mom's from North Carolina, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So tell me about you, though. Like, how was it for you growing up? Like, you know what I'm saying? We know about you. you got two brothers and stuff. You know, I know oh, a little bit about truth? you. Yeah, but tell, yeah, <laughs> tell me about you. Like, how was it for you growing um, up? How's your life? <laughs> I was the uh, the black sheep of the family. Yeah, okay. I was the rebel yeah. always. I was viewed as the rebel, but I was kind of um, just an out the box yeah. thinker. Okay. Uh, we grew up in a Christian household, uh, very strict beliefs, and mm-hmm. I always kind of questioned everything. Yeah, for sure. So I was always looked at as like, oh, why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Or oh, jazz always going <laughs> off on the deep end. And it's just like, yeah. But that has I used to kind of not appreciate those moments and feel mm-hmm. like. You know, why can't I just blend in? But now that I'm older, it's like I appreciate those things about me because it Mm. led me to my spiritual walk and led me to question different things. And you, you think it was like that because you was like the only girl. You got two brothers, so it' gonna be a little tough on you because you know how it is for a girl to grow up. You gotta make sure you know. Yeah, I I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because my parents were really strict. Yeah, like super, super strict. I have a daughter on the way, Mm. and I have two sons. Like this is it too, y'all. No more kids. Three, (laughs) I'm out. And my thing is, like, I'm thinking about stuff that when she turns 16 already and she's not even in the world already. So, like, I don't know. As a parent, I can see how you'll be a little, maybe a little harder on your girl than your boys. You but know I feel saying? like that's, that's gave me, because I have two daughters. Mm-hmm. Um, it's kind of gave me a different perspective being so um, withheld. Mm-hmm. As a child, because it's like, I know what I was thinking. Mm-hmm. So I don't want to put those same limitations on them. Like, I'm not saying like, oh, go be free. So you're real low. It's like, <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah, sure, but sure. I don't want them to feel like they can't talk to me. And yeah. I don't want them to feel oh, like yeah. Hell yeah. I have to go outside and get all my information yeah. because mom's too strict. Yeah, yeah. Because that's how my son, my son, he be 14 next month. And um, I remember when that D-Wade junk came about. I don't know if you knew about like his son mm-hmm. transitioning to a girl. So I'm like, damn, like, I don't know how tough that was for both of them for, 
for him to tell his parents and for his parents to accept it. Even though I didn't agree with how young he was, but hey, to each day on. But mm -hmm. my son, I wanted to make sure like if it was anything that he know he could talk to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We we got the father son, but I always want to be like, you know what I'm saying? A friend too. You know what I'm saying? So he ain't got to worry about doing some other shit or or going out talk to the wrong people. He can come to me with it. Exactly. And I can just tell him, you know what I'm saying, my experiences. So I asked my like, man, "Hey, you do like girls, don't you?" <laughs> like <laughs> like I just want to know like I'm gonna be a little upset, a little hurt. I might cry, but I'll, I'll be cool. Like hey, he looked at me like, "Are you crazy?" Like, "No, I like girls." Like, "I'm cool." I'm like, "All right, man, but if anything like if you ever thought anything or you know what I'm saying, you need to talk to me, talk to me." I think my biggest thing with parenting is like parenting from a place of wholeness and from healing because mm -hmm. it's like it's a lot of stuff as adults that we don't address mm -hmm, with sure. our parents with stuff that we went through yeah. and just trauma that's been passed on so it's like i it was very important for me to heal myself mm -hmm. and be a healed parent versus a scarred parent or a yeah. parent with mommy issues like because yeah, yeah, you yeah. passed that on so yeah, it's yeah, like you do, you do. just yeah. making sure that my kids like sometimes i get on their nerves but yeah. every day i'm like i love you you're <laughs> yeah. beautiful just all the affirmation because it's like i'm you're not about to go somewhere else and be like my mom didn't love yeah, me or she yeah. didn't give That's me what thing. i feel i yeah. regret because uh, my mom passed away i didn't uh, I don't think I never like really say I love you. I just expected her to know, mm -hmm. you know. And, like my son, they 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 tell me all the time I ain't got no type of like uh, feelings or whatever. Like I, I don't like saying I get, my brother say he love me. I'll be trying to keep it thug. Like yeah, I love you too, nigga. Like <laughs> I try to make sure. You I'm put the nigga at the end. Yeah, I'm trying to make sure I'm still tough with it. I don't know. So I'm trying to change that by myself. You know what I'm saying? And be more uh, affectionate is the word. You know. So I gotta change that up, whatever. I know I'm gonna be probably soft. You got a girl coming. Yeah, like, I, I, yeah but that's know. gonna soften me up because mm -hmm. with both my sons, when I found out they were, you know, boys and they was born and stuff like that, I didn't cry. So when we found out the gender of the girl, we, I'm crying in front of him. Like, <laughs> what the fuck going on? Like, I never did this before. But yeah, I already oh, know I'm you probably soft. All right. Yeah, I already know. I already mm -hmm. know. I'm kind of scared. Don't be scared. It's fine. Girls so, are cool. By you saying, you know, you feel like you was the black rebel or whatever. Black, black sheep. sheep. Black sheep. I said black <laughs> rebel. What the hell? Black sheep. Um, did you like wait? It was like once you got older, you kind of like had that connection with your parents. Besides, uh, you know what I'm saying? In the pose of when you was young. We had connection. Like, I'm not going to say that me and my parents didn't have like a good bond, but it mm -hmm. was a lot of opposition. Mm -hmm. But yes, after I got older, um, had my daughters mm -hmm. like the bond started to get there but even then we still had to do the work like i still yeah. had to tell my mom like how i felt about things and have her talk to me about how she felt about my behavior and yeah. just like reconnect because yeah. there's a lot of times as black people we skate over things and oh, yeah. just like suppress mm -hmm. but i'm like in order for me to be reach my full potential and everything and music mm -hmm. and life and, and family mm -hmm. like i have to heal yeah you got to because it's like going to a relationship and you just you scarred, and mm -hmm. then you looking for this dude to, you know, saying change everything. Yeah, and you exactly. a broken woman and stuff. Or might, might be a broken man, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, you never know though. So, uh, you know, you growing up and stuff. How was you as a kid? Like, like, what was the awkwardness about you? If it was like, what made you different from your, you know, saying other siblings? Um, I was just always curious. Uh, my mom used to tell me like, I was one of the people that i had to bump my head mm. a million times before i get it that was me like i don't <laughs> you can tell me don't go down this road like this road has sharks and <laughs> and alligators yeah, you're gonna fall sure. off a cliff yeah. but i'm gonna be like well let me just look at the road yeah, let me see. and let me just see how bad the sharks are yeah. so it was like mm. i had to experience things on my own and i know that gave my parents hell because it's just like i just told you yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, god damn it <laughs> i wanted to know and i feel like I don't feel like that's a bad thing. Like, yeah. I know we try to stop our kids. Like, even my parents, you know, talk to me about my little brother because mm. he's a lot like me. Okay. And we're both Aquarius. And yeah. he's just, he a lot like me. So yeah, yeah, they sure. always come like, hey, like, you know, can you talk to your brother? See what's going on? I'm like, I know me and yeah. I know him. Yeah. And he's not going to listen right now. Like, let him go through his phase. He in college. Mm -hmm. Have fun. Yeah, that's how my little he's brother who good... just left here. He don't listen to shit I said. Mm -hmm. And then he but get he's mad. he's well-rounded, though. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what's up. It's one, and sometimes you got to learn. You, you know what I'm saying? You gotta learn through, you know, trial and error. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So, so what's name? Jay Pitts was the golden child, then, huh? Yes, he was, <laughs> he was the, to the token one. Like he was, he still is. Mm -hmm. I was just teasing him about that the other day. Uh, when we was like, a lot of times he does my actually all the time he does my uh, photo shoots. Mm -hmm. He's very good with the camera. Okay. So um, I was telling him like, yeah, we should smoke 
when we go to, and do this next time and he like yeah we should he was like but then we got to drive back i'm like there you go with that responsible shit you know <laughs> <laughs> like you always a responsible one but yeah. it's like did that make y'all kind of bump heads growing up because because of that no honestly that's the the funny thing about it because even with our differences like mm. we were so close like, yeah. we we're still very close mm. and he never judged me or like mm. judged the situation mm. it was one time that i felt like he betrayed my trust because <laughs> yeah. we i had to go to the uh my mom made me take him to the movies because okay. i had a date and when she finally let me date yeah but she told him when we got back she asked everything that happened and he's mm. like not saying nothing but she threatened him with christmas <laughs> so i understand now as an adult i'm like yeah. okay she yeah. threatened christmas, you with christmas day, that's yeah. important but it's like, dang, like, you wasn't supposed to tell everything, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But that was the one time. But we always been close, like, mm. super, super close. Yeah, yeah, that's what, me and my brother, we close. I got uh, two brothers, no sisters. And we close, but this fool brought up some old stuff about me telling on him because he was smoking weed at nine. I'm like, what was I supposed to do? Like, let that let that slide? Like, I'm telling on your ass. And I gave him a, a good two-piece in the stomach real quick. And I told mm -hmm. my mom, hey, uh, mouth smoking weed, like. And she whooped his ass real quick. I think that probably the last whooping he got. That's probably why he don't listen. <laughs> he was nine years old. I was getting whooped until I was 16. I was mm. getting beat downs. So uh, how was you in class? Like, you know what I'm saying? Outside music, was there anything else that you was, uh, you know what I'm saying, wanted to be when you got older, you know, when you was in high school, middle school? Honestly, well, yeah, there was a moment I wanted to be, um, do animation. Okay. And I actually had, like, a scholarship to Institute of Arts mm -hmm. and... I had a recommendation from my uh, my teachers. Mm -hmm. Like at our school, they, there was different levels of art that you can go up to. The last one was like studio art where you yeah. just work on your portfolio. Okay. So, so you went to a good school, yeah? Mm, it yeah. was good. What school, what school you went to was the same as your brother? Yep, Harrison, okay. which is shut down now. Yeah, yeah, so that's, well, that's Farmington, right? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. They shut down, what, like two years ago? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so how was you? Was you quiet, laid back, chill? Wow. I was quiet. <laughs> I was quiet, but I was also like my teachers always called me the social butterfly. Yeah. Like I liked I had friends and talked to different people, but I wasn't that outgoing, loud, mm -hmm. like just I was very timid. Mm -hmm. So it's like when I let you in, it's like okay, like these are my core. Yeah, group. I trust you. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Now your 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 brother was saying like how, you know, cause I always ask people what music they were listening to, you know, most of the time you get your musical influences from your parents. And he was saying like a lot of stuff he couldn't listen to because of mm -hmm. your, your your parents' belief and stuff and into the church, or whatever. So, what was some stuff you were sneaking to listen to? Tupac, yeah. <laughs> Biggie, yeah. Um, Foxy Brown, yeah. all types of stuff. Just... Foxy Brown, Lil Kim, man. I told you I got in, I got in trouble over that poster. Mm. The Lil Kim poster, man, that was a good poster. Yeah, I used to. I had <laughs> oh the Word Up magazines. I used to. Oh have... yeah, see that's that's the thing. Magazine life is yes. something I miss. Like I just miss going through them. Cutting. You got them posters in the middle that yeah. you take out and roll. Or the ones you don't, you gotta make sure you cut it just right and you don't wanna mess up. Mm -hmm. Cause I had my wall, I had girl side, I had Tupac side, and I had like a basketball side. Mm -hmm. And then behind my door, when you close the door, that was Foxy I mean uh Lil' Kim. Mm -hmm. With the whole, you know, legs with the light pop and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Horny little How bastard. Old were you? With that poster? Uh 13, 14. Oh yeah, that's the yeah. age, right? Yeah, there. yeah, 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 yeah. So yeah, I had that poster real. I'm like, hold on, hold on. I don't know how I got the poster. I don't know if I got from school, but I got hold of the poster. And I didn't want my mom to see it, so I had it behind the door. <laughs> and one day she seen him, Malcolm, and I, I had to take the poster down. But that was a good poster. But yeah, I had the girls, all the girls I liked. So I had like Aaliyah, Left Eye, uh, just different chicks I liked on mm -hmm. one side of the wall. Like, that was a little weird, though. Think about it. There's all these chicks looking at me at night. <laughs> like, that's why I, like, damn, I can't wait till I get older. And I had, like I said, I had the Tupac side. Then I had my basketball side. Mostly it was Kobe and Allie Iverson. See, my wall was all B2K. B2, oh. B2K. Uh, B2K and Bow Wow. So you, you so we, to, so we probably about the same age. You mind me asking how old you are? I'm 31. Okay, always. Oh, I got you about three years. I'm old as hell. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, B2K was it. B2K. I remember me and my, uh, me and one of my girlfriends. We used to practice kissing on the poster. <laughs> like we were those teenagers. <laughs> where it's like, okay, I'm gonna take Omarion yeah. and you get little fizz. Yeah. And it was, yeah, we were those. <laughs> so girls. you, so Omarion was your favorite one. Yeah, Omarion and Lil Fizz. No, yeah. it was Omarion and Jay Book. I yeah. used to like Jay Book. You know what's fucked up about that group? Didn't no girl like Raz B. Like, no, my friend actually did. She liked Raz B. Yeah. She's the first person I ever heard. And I, oh, I Goddamn Raz B. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's just crazy. Everybody be talking about Omarion, Bull, Fizz. That nigga over here like, I'm, I'm right here. I'm over here. I'm light-skinned. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, like, give me some love real quick, for real. 
Dang, B2K, that's crazy. Yo, who was uh who was some people you was like listening to like once you got older and you like this music shit dope like as far as the R and B side because that's what you know. You... Uh, definitely Rihanna. Her whole story kind of resonated with me because mm -hmm. she had that whole good girl bad girl thing. Yeah. So it just felt like home, and I was just like, ooh, like even when she came out with the Rated R album, like yeah. that was my favorite album because I felt she was more raunchy and yeah. it's like it was raunchy, but it was still like classy, but like. I mm. want you, but I don't know why, but oh my God. Yeah, and it was yeah, just yeah. like the trans of it all was this. That's what got me on her. Yeah. Like I was a super, super, super big Rihanna yeah, yeah. fan. Yeah. And then at that time I was also into conspiracy. So I was looking at all music videos like, see, that's oh, the, yeah, the, little that's the, the third triangle right shit, there. Yeah. That's the Everybody whoop, was looking yeah. at that junk. The Illuminati <laughs> like, shit. Like, yeah. Everybody said Jay-Z throwing up the sign, him and Beyonce mm -hmm. and all that junk. That was funny. I want, it probably is Illuminati. It got to be. No, it's a, it's as I got older, I'm like, a lot of things like symbolism and all this stuff, like, a lot, you have to do your research. Yeah, like, I think it's some shit, but it's some shit that we'll never know. But people try to demonize certain things just because they don't know what it's about. Mm -hmm. And it's like, do your research before you believe what anybody tells you. For sure, for sure. Heck yeah. So, life at the high school for you. Did you go straight to college? Or would you like, I need to go ahead and see the I, world? <laughs> I went to college. I tried. Yeah, where you go? I went to OCC. Okay. I went to OCC and I tried to do school and then it's like I had, I went to different um, technical schools and did mm. like the certificate thing. Like yeah. I had, I was super certificate out. <laughs> I was, I had phlebotomy, I had patient care tech, EKG, CNA. I'm Damn. like, I got all these yeah. boys like yeah. on deck, what you want, like yeah. I can do it. Pharmacy but tech. <laughs> That's the one I didn't go to. Okay, but my yeah, mom, go. my mom is a pharmacist, and mm. she kind of wanted me to follow that path. Mm. So it was just like hell no. Nah. You like yeah, you like this? Oh, I'm <laughs> like, good. <laughs> I'm not doing that one. Yeah. But my mom, she tried to get me into the health field, and mm. she, you know, like our parents, even like our generation parents are big yeah. on stability, school, work. Like yeah. that's what they know. That's what they sure. they feel like is a dream. That's when yeah. they know their kids are secure. And it's like I used to be mad at it, but now it's like okay, I understand. Yeah, like yeah, you yeah. just want us to be stable, but. Mm. I was like, nah, like yeah, I'm, I'm a creative. Yeah. So I, I went the radical route first where it's like, I ain't working. Like I'm doing this and I'm trying like I was in the studio all day. Yeah. Bullshit and trying to get in the booth <laughs> and like trying to network with people yeah. and I was living at the studio for a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it was just like I started doing a modeling thing where I was a little risque and yeah. it was just like I was trying to find myself, but I was super young and yeah. just like what is it? I know that I'm I'm created to do something mm. musically, yeah. and I was just trying to find my path. But like yeah, yeah, yeah. back then, that. you know, you kind of yeah. bumping your head. Yeah, for and, sure. And we don't know what they want to do. Cause yeah. I be thinking about that now. Like, damn, I I wish I went to school a little bit more serious. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Thought about what I wanted to do. Cause back then, I'm like, I'm going to the NBA. But you see, I'm short. I'm only five eight. So <laughs> you know, once I seen that I was gonna grow no more, I'm like, well, I guess these hoop drinks over. <laughs> now I don't know what the fuck I want to do. Like, mm. so it's like you. It, sometimes like you could do as much as you can as a parent, but at the end of the day, it's on the kid. Like yeah. I can do, I can give my sons and my daughter about to come out. You know, saying the best advice, but it just depends on if they gonna take pick up that advice. They gonna use it. Like you could just do your part. Yeah. And, you know, what I'm saying it's like me. You know, if he give me some advice on some shit, I'm like, yeah, I hear you, but I don't give a fuck. Like <laughs> I feel like our parents, like they they gave the, like you said the best advice that they could. Mm -hmm. But I feel like now they're learning to support us mm. as creatives, as um, just independent people. Yeah. And it's like, it took a minute for my mom to get there with me. Even now, it's like, I'll share some music with her, mm. the clean versions. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure. like, hey, mom, like check this out before I send it to anybody. Just to mm. kind of like create yeah. that bond. And she'll get feedback. And then it's like the next time I see her, she's like, so this uh, pharmacy tech program, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, sure, yeah. that I saw. And I'm like, I get it. Yeah, Like, yeah. you just want me to be stable. But it's like, no, nah, like. I, it's something when you start, when you make that transition to fully believing in yourself. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't see nothing else. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I have yeah, yeah. full tunnel vision right now and sure, I'm, I'm on it. Like, yeah. I'm not going back. That's one thing with a job. You don't want a job that you, you know what I'm saying? A job might make good money, got good benefits, but it's something that you hate. Mm -hmm. You know, because then by then I'm working a job, I hate it. You're going to work that job until you able to retire. And it's like, what the fuck? I got a couple of years of my, you know what I'm saying, to myself. I've been working this job that I hate going to, making somebody else company rich or whatever. And that's the thing. Like, my jobs, I actually liked. Oh, yeah, um, <laughs> but it's because I, I have a, a heart for helping people. And, like, I worked with special needs. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And, um, like, we would kind of integrate them back into society by giving them jobs, letting them do volunteer work. And I worked one-on-one -on -one with a girl with autism. Mm -hmm. And we just we had this really good bond. So, like, I love my job, but it's like... 
I love helping people, but this is still not not my passion. It's like, not yes. Yeah. This is like a part of me, but this is not the whole thing. Mm, like for sure. Hell so yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So we gonna get to your music, but tell me what was the first music? I mean, first city you you bought or stole? Like it'd be like bought or stole. yeah, because like, sometimes you'd be like, what's the first city you bought your own money? Like, well, I stole that, you know, because I remember I got in trouble me and my cousin. You know what I'm saying? He my homie. I call my cousin because we so tight. We got caught stealing um, at Target. He mm. stole Trick Daddy uh, CD. And I stole like this Tupac double disc, uh, All Eyes on Me. Oh, Which yeah. Target was it? Uh, e Eastland. Okay. Uh, Eastside stuff. Northland Target. No, no, no. We never messed with Northland. We ain't messed with the West Side. Like, this is the first time I ever stayed on the West Side of my life. Mm. Like, I don't mess with the rest. <laughs> but I hit uh, Northland Target once. Yeah, but see, you, <laughs> the thing about it, though, is we. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, we was hitting Target, though, like. During the week, like after school, we'd go to Eastland and stuff like that. But then on weekends, we didn't know they had people dressed like me and you, mm -hmm. you know, who were doing security. So we'd go take the CDs to the sporting good aisle and just break them in the little thing and put them in our pocket. So my man pointed at us. I'm like, oh, shit, I'm about to go to jail. So I'm, I take the CD and I check myself before he checked me. Like, listen, I ain't got nothing. So I hurry up and took the CDs out of my front pocket, put it in the back pocket. And then Reg just gave me the little uh, CD. They took him down, took a picture. He could never go to Eastland again, even though we went like two months later. But, yeah, so what was your first CD that you may have purchased or stole from Target at Northland? Uh, <laughs> it wasn't a CD. Okay. I don't actually, I think it was uh, probably some makeup or something. Yeah. <laughs> something stupid. But I don't remember my first CD, mm -hmm. but I remember my first cassette. Okay, what was that? And that was uh, Bow Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Beware of the dog. Yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He Bow had the wow. whole, what was the song that was on um, Big Mama's House? Oh, uh, Bounce With Me? Yes. Yeah, I had yeah. a whole routine and everything. God damn. <laughs> Bow Wow was, but see, Bow Wow was one, he, I think he's a little confused about how old he is, but he's the one dude that didn't go crazy from being a childhood star. Mm -hmm. Like, everybody else, you know, Mary Kay and Ashley, the Ocean Twins, they crazy. Like, everybody. I think they were cracked out. Yeah, they, they were all messed up. Then you had my man from off of Say by Bill Screech. He going, he went crazy. Steve Urkel can't get past Steve Urkel. Yeah. So, like, Bow Wow was like the only person that kind of like, Still stay consistent and still stay relevant a little bit. Mm -hmm. So you 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 had you had crush on Bow Wow too then, huh? Mm -hmm. yeah, Until got... I started to outgrow him, and then yeah. it was just like <laughs> like outgrow him like for real or like outgrow like I'm getting taller <laughs> yeah. and you the same. So yeah, it's yeah. like this is a little weird now. Oh heck, you know yeah. Bow Wow was the man, man. And then when you when you about the same age as him, as him you you you're like damn, all the girls like Bow Wow and Romeo, I can do music too. I, call myself. I always felt like Romeo was a knockoff version. Oh heck yeah, he was a uh, yeah he was that stole ball. He what was, was still that? cute though. When you but... get the uh, the Fruit Loops from the uh, Walmart, you get the Fruit Rings. <laughs> <laughs> like that boy gets sauce when you put it in the in the, in the, in the, the milk. Fruit Rings. Yeah, Fruit Rings. I hate my mom. Never got the real cereal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't get Frosted Flakes. You get Flakes Frosted. Like what? come <laughs> on man, damn. You got and then uh, the fake Captain Crunch, the King Vitamins. Oh, I liked King Vitamins. Oh, no. So, but so, we used to go to a particular cousin house, and that's all they had. And yeah. we used to eat them King Vitamins. Because as soon as it hit the milk, it just gets off. Mm. Like, it just turned right in the paper. Like, damn. I ain't eat it fast enough. Dang, I still remember the I remember the box and everything. Yeah, yeah. Had that little bootleg Captain Crunch, man. <laughs> he liked it. It was a real picture. Like, it wasn't even a cartoon. Nah. Like, like, King fucking Vitamin. Old ass white man. Like, tearing that wick cereal up. Because that was but that wick cereal. I wonder why they called it Vitamin. Like, that's not appealing to kids. Yeah, I don't know. Damn, that's a good question. King I would vitamin. like to know the marketing behind that. Like, <laughs> yeah. It was what King was the Sugar. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Should have been something like that. But yeah, I get mad. My mom bought that old knockoff cereal. Everything we had was pretty much knocked off, though. Mm. Like the fake ramen noodles and stuff. Like, damn, we can't afford ramen noodles. It's, we, we poor. We poor. You see, for my real. parents, like, we. I like the way that my parents brought us up because they never had us on, like, materials and. Mm oh, you got to wear this, or we're buying you this name brand. Like, we grew up nice. Like, we had, you know, a nice living, but mm. it was never superficial. Yeah, 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 yeah. And yeah. they still had us grounded, so it was just like, yeah, for I sure. appreciated that. All right, get, get to you then. When you when did you, like, realize you was in, you know, you wanted to be in the whole little music and you could sing and stuff like that? Mm. Was you young, older? I was young. I've been singing. Actually, I, this is like a... A coming a rebirth for me yeah i heard that you took some time off and stuff yeah i took some time off for a minute um after i had my daughter mm -hmm. but before then i honestly don't know because i was mm -hmm. in choirs like in school i was in concert choir where we used to compete mm -hmm. i was on choirs in church like i always was singing okay but and then i was always writing poetry yeah. um and which involved or evolved into writing music okay so probably probably high school yeah you you remember like like the first song you wrote? Not the first song, but the first poem. 
Uh, I was to, I was super emotional. I said, was it to Craig? No, oh, okay. I really don't know who it was about. And now that I think about it, but I know, I know it was deep. Like when I go back and look at yeah. some of my stuff, I'm like, this nigga was not that popping. Like, why are you making Man. a whole like? Like, mental battle and yeah, all. it was yeah. just so deep like first row first seat you sit there yeah and i'm just like and i sit and stare speaking of staring those your eyes yeah 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 well, I, <laughs> <laughs> she, her body, same eyes. Like, I'll, I'll keep looking like damn some good eyes like, i wish yeah, i had they just eyes. good for look because i can't see worse shit but <laughs> you know yeah so you write poems about you know saying such and such mm -hmm. that's funny because uh yeah did i ever write a poem about a girl i never wrote a poem about a girl but my first conversation was written down Cause I was so scared. I was my first phone call on the, with a girl was in ninth grade, and was it ninth grade? So I'm like, man, I'm about to write down this whole conversation, whatever. So I wrote the whole conversation. Like I'm gonna ask her what her favorite color is. I'm gonna ask her what she like to do. You had a script. Yeah, I had a whole <laughs> page. And my my step brother uh, True was like, dog, did you just write your conversation out? I'm like, yeah, dog, cause it wound up being like the girl was his girlfriend's little sister. Shout out to you know who you are, uh, <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying. So I might bet she gonna come over because her sister come over all the time. So I had my whole conversation down pat and stuff. And I remember when she came over, my mom was like, "Boy, you are scared as hell." Because I kept on like I couldn't sit next to her. Mm -hmm. Like every time we sit for a little bit, I heard her go to the bathroom, heard her go in the room. Like I was scared Aww, as hell. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, yo, your poems and stuff. Like, so was this your, your little boyfriend or this somebody you like? No, I stayed with a boyfriend in high school. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. It's funny now that I look back at it. That's why I had a lot of... Because we had like our, our core friends, but then it was girls yeah. that just didn't like me. Yeah. But it's because the niggas liked me. Yeah, because so you were light-skinned, like, good eyes. Like, you know, we don't <laughs> like her. Like, fuck, forget that. Yeah, and they used to give me a hard time. Like, <laughs> it was it was frustrating, but... Yeah. Yeah, that's how it be, for real. I never went without a boyfriend. But, like, I had a long-term boyfriend... Yeah, I was saying, Usually, what was your, your, your first real, like, your first real relationship? My first, to me, yeah. was in fifth grade <laughs> because I loved Dexter, and we Dexter, got married God, on the playground. Yeah. We ran around the whole thing, so it was official. Dexter. I still have it in my diary. Like, today I got married. That's so, funny, Dexter. Dexter, God, shout yeah. out to you wherever you are. Yeah, but, shout out to Dexter, man. Yeah, but <laughs> other than that, like... <laughs> Dexter. I don't know. Like, I, I had... um. I had a real relationship in high school mm -hmm. that was kind of long term. Yeah. Off and on, and that was the, yeah, he got a lot of poetry out of me. <laughs> yeah. A lot. Yeah. See, my my first my first girlfriend was the same. Yeah, same girl I just talked about, and we was like boyfriend girlfriend from like what fourteen till nineteen, mm. something like that. It was a pretty little little long minute and stuff like that. But it was like I want her to do something. I, I didn't want her to go to college in Florida. I wanted her to go to Michigan State because my goal was to go to Eastern, but my grades wasn't shit, so I don't know why I thought that was gonna happen. And uh, I'm like, yeah, you should go to uh, Flo you should go to Michigan State. And so she went to Florida, and I was mad, so we kind of stopped talking. And that's how I started talking to my oldest son, mom. And then she called me like, hey, guess what? I'm like, what? She was like, I'm something went wrong at Florida, so I'm coming to Michigan State. I'm mm -hmm. like, guess what? I got a baby on the way. Yeah. <laughs> and that was it. Like she stopped fucking with me. Like that was it. So you know, so I know she's doing good. She married and stuff. So shout out to her. I ain't gonna say her name. Yeah, my high school relationships <laughs> didn't make the cut into adult yeah. life. Yeah. Nah, it was God damn different. Dexter and shit. That's funny. That's a funny name. Mm. Dexter. He, did he have glasses? Nah, Dexter was cool. <laughs> and it's funny because be I, cool I still remember his whole family's name because mm. all he was all boys. Yeah. And it was like five of them. And they all started with D's. And it was, I'm so mad <laughs> I remember this. But it was Dexter, Dana, Donovan, Dylan, and Daniel. Damn. Shout out to all y'all, wherever yeah, y'all at. What up? I still remember y'all name. So yeah. the first crush I had though was this girl named Carlicia Ballard. God, that sounds like a, a good crush name. <laughs> yeah, like, I remember she, was, she her first. I'm like, dog, this light skinned girl and walked in the class, and then my boy Cleophis. Got that <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> my boy Cleophis <laughs> stole her and jumped, got with her. But that's why I say you always got let. He was your age. We was in the same grade. Name Cleophis. <laughs> hold on, hold that's on. like a Bernadette. Like. I know, I know, <laughs> I know. He he not gonna watch this. But his name was Cleophis Shackleford. Oh, wow. And he stole the girl? Yeah, he stole the girl. He must Cleo have had mad game. Cleophis was tall. So, Shout out to Cleophis. You know, in, in, in sixth grade and stuff, you know, I'm, 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 I'm small as hell. Cleophis tall and shit. So I'm liking the girl. She like me. Here come Cleophis. <laughs> we call him Cleo, though. Cleophis came through and motherfucker stole uh, Carlicia, dog. 
So she wanted to be Carlicia Shacklefield. And that's what she wanted. Shackleford. Shackleford. That's yeah. even worse. I Miss mean, Shackleford. But yeah, yeah. So she stole he stole her from me, man. Punk, punk ass Cleophas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but all right, so uh, you know, you you doing music and stuff like that. Oh yeah, my first cassette I bought was uh Usher My Way. Mm. Yeah, I was in that boy singing the hell out of that song. You you what was it? You remind me? Yeah, of a girl, yeah, yeah, yeah. I wish I could sing. That's one thing I do. You know, I, if I could sing, I'll sing all day. Mm. Like I'd be on IG Live just singing <laughs> for no reason. Like this nigga's just singing ass nigga, dog. <laughs> for real, for real. So when you uh start taking music serious, like when was that? And like tell me about your first time in the studio. Um probably like mm, I think that was like two thousand twelve. Mm. -hmm. Twelve ish. Mm -hmm. That's when I went to but it was the makeshift studios, you know, mm -hmm. like you had a boy that had a studio. Yeah, the crib. And you know, you go in there and it got like a bed that's like <laughs> Blocking out the sound, but those yeah. like the best those studios. Those the best ones. Hell yeah! Like, Shout out to my dog P.O.G. So yeah, so Hell yeah. that was like my first time. I was in the closet, and they closed the door. Yep. <laughs> and uh, um, I put out this song, Deep. That was my first song I put out. Okay. Which it was super nasty. Well, yeah, I remember. What was it? What was a bar that was real nasty? Mm. <laughs> we ain't gonna go. <laughs> but that was the first song. Well, if you can dig it up, you might yeah, be able to find it. And I can it. really, I can imagine. It, Deep, <laughs> what was, you talking about? It was, so. it was going deep. Yeah, it was deep. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's funny. So I actually I did like a um, a little radio interview and everything about it. Like yeah. my brother came with me. Okay. But that was it's so cringy. Like to go back and listen mm -hmm. to your old shit and it's yeah. just like, what were you on? Like, like you had, but how deep can you go? Yeah. <laughs> It was just a whole, I moaned like, on the no track, more. like, it was just, it was a lot. Yeah. And then I had my, um, my boyfriend at the time, he rapped on there. Oh, yeah. And his verse was just explicit. So yeah, it so y'all was just nasty with that boy. Yeah. Like, you, you didn't say that to mom, I know you nah, didn't say that. Nah, <laughs> Y'all didn't even now, But I, you know, I feel like you can, you can have your, like, sexual yeah, music, sure. of course, but I'm just... I like the more subtle sexy. Yeah. Like the old school way where you oh, yeah, know yeah. what you're talking about, but you don't have to be like, pussy this, nigga. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, I don't have to yeah. do all that. But see, back then, and like I said, I said this on numerous uh, shows, man. Those old school RB songs, my dad had to have hell if they was listening to music while he was performing, you know, they, mm. they think, because those songs was too long. Yeah, <laughs> like, they were. You ain't going to get past that first song. A Temptation song? God damn it. They just, oh, oh. Like, <laughs> before you even say something, like the beat just playing like for about two minutes, like, damn. They go say something. Mm -hmm. Those songs was long. Like listen to some old Stevie Wonder. Like those songs was six minutes long. Yeah. Like shit, we ain't about to make it through this album. <laughs> you ain't about to get past first song. Yeah, yeah, I'm about to go back and look. I'm gonna go on iTunes and get an album and see how long the actual was, album minutes yeah. were. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was <laughs> at the long. bottom. Like especially like those like the Izzy Brothers, like Temptations, like like Stevie, like uh, Curtis Mayfield. Those songs. Tay Pendergrass was old. It was long. Mm -hmm. Like, long as hell. And they had to never have three verses on there with an introduction. Of, <laughs> they had a whole goddamn paper on that boy. A thesis statement and everything. Hell yeah. So, uh, you made deep. You and your boyfriend, you know what I'm saying, rapping crazy on that boy. What's the crazy, hold on, you know the craziest song I, I'm thinking about deep was that uh, Whisper song by Ying Yang Twins. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that song, I did oh, not no. like that song because it just remind me of hot breath in the club. <laughs> like, you don't be whispering behind oh, me. Oh, sure. You've been drinking all night and it's just, no. Yeah. That just took me back to St. Andrew's day. Hold on. Okay, let's talk there. St. Andrew's. So we probably ran past each other because I was... St. Andrew's Kingdom, I which used to be, it was a pandemonium. Mm. Wow, we've been through all the switches. What was it before then? Kingdom. Uh, I, when it was Kingdom, somebody got uh, somebody got murdered in Kingdom mm -hmm. when I was there that day. Before that, it was the um, Zubar. Zubar, yeah. goddamn Zubar, and yeah, Zubar Kingdom. But St. Andrews was the goddamn spot. It was every Friday. I would make sure we was at St. Andrews. It was just fun back then. Like yeah. the clubs was just popping, Elysium. Like Damn. everything was just nice. Like I yeah. remember that. That's when we used to. I think it, you know, we still had social media kind of, but it was just organic fun like yeah, for sure. dancing people actually interacting oh, yeah. especially when you know there's a couple songs that you know when come on you gotta find a girl bad that thing about juvenile that drop it give me 50 mike jones and stuff and then that uh i'm gonna throw this cast that jeezy's uh song i see with certain songs i was just not about to dance like, oh shit hurry up nigga you go you you would be taking no. a piss like, you it's stop like that. i like i like certain <laughs> um music and yeah. have a respect for Detroit music and mm -hmm. different artists, but um, <laughs> it was just one song, and I'm like, ain't no way I'm about to, I'm not dancing to what, that. What was the song? 
a dog hole. Oh, yeah, I'm oh, like, yeah, I'm oh, not yeah, dancing oh, yeah, to yeah. Not just some <laughs> ball hole. I can't, I can't, I can't dance. A dog hole, she be in boy sweating. <laughs> no. Dog, that's funny. You be dancing like, wait, uh, all holes? Not just one? Yeah, like, like, not just one, but all holes. That just came out hard to beat the bass. It did. Hey, man, we, uh, hopefully we're going to get uh, Dope Boy Dre on here. I'm trying to get all of them on here, man, because I feel like they birthed the whole Detroit sound. Mm -hmm. I've been saying that forever so yeah y'all come on the show man yeah. but yeah the end was a classic song i ain't gonna lie like because you be mad because that's why i was trying to become a rapper at the time i'm like damn they got the whole city on fire i'm a little jealous like i'm going home trying to find me a song that i can make that's uh, talk about dog and uh females it was a song <laughs> it was a song i used to be scared of when it came on in the club because like i was still from farmers and hills even though i was yeah. trying to like you know be in the streets of detroit like yeah. hey <laughs> mingling but i'm like i'm still on middle belt you know yeah but it was, what was that song? What hood you from? Oh, yeah, what hood you from? And it's like oh, yeah, people KDZ. used to get yeah. so hyped, oh, yeah. and I'm just like, are you, you going to shoot? Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm from, I'm from, I'm from here. Yeah. yeah, what hood you from? Now represent that shit. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, KDZ, come on show, man. But yeah, that was a, that was a good, that, that was a song that, that's a, you, you can play that song right now. And mm -hmm. All these songs we talking about, you can play right now. They, they still bang. They're going to go crazy. They gonna go crazy. Yeah, we definitely had to cross path. I was in St. Andrews all the time. Um, Plan B. Uh, what was that one junk had the mother the um the swing in front of it in Highland Park, I believe. It was a swing right when oh, you were going, going to Highland Park. Yeah, yeah. We was we was some club shadow bar. Shadow bar, yeah. We was some club legends. Like I had my son, I take care of my son, then eleven o'clock come. Hey mom, I'm about to go to the club, you good? <laughs> like, make sure he sleep. I go do a couple of laps around the uh neighborhood. He sleep, all right, bet. Put him in the car, I mean, put him in the house, go club. Mm -hmm. And I was in a relationship, I used to lie to her, like, yeah, I might go help my mom out with something. So I go there with my regular, like, basketball shorts on. Me and my brother wore the same size clothes, or I put one of his outfits on just to, you know, <laughs> keep, my, keep my lie up and stuff. Like, yeah, I was trash. I was a, what they say, uh, called dirt bag. I was a, yeah, I was a young dirt bag back then. See, I couldn't even enjoy the club fully because I was still on curfew. Oh, yeah. So my friends used to hate the oh, fact yeah, that, I, yeah. and I wasn't driving. They like, oh, we gotta take her ass Dang, home. Yeah. <laughs> what time you had to leave? About twelve, eleven. Yes. Yeah. I got there. I, my mom used to want me to be in the house by twelve. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. nothing starts popping really till twelve. Yeah, because anybody coming to the club at eleven thirty for real. Oh, um, I remember I got kicked out <laughs> once because I came. It was like twelve oh five. Dang. And I got kicked out. Where you house. go? <sighs> Probably your friend's house. Yeah. I done. It was a couple days or something. <laughs> It depends. I got kicked out so many times since the age <laughs> of seventeen. I don't even remember all the times yeah, anymore. Yeah. But wild. Yes. <laughs> this seven seventeen on uh, probably seventeen to Jazzy like twenty. Jazzy wild girl. Twenty two. <laughs> That's funny. All right, so back to the the music and stuff. Like you know, what I'm saying we already said deep and stuff like that. And I noticed that you got a, you know a couple of singles that you know saying it dropped and whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, Magic Woman. Uh, you got the Made Man that just dropped. And I heard that you said that you got the concept for mob movies, mafia yes, movies. Yes. Yes. Because like you got to realize like that person got to be respected before you know he become mm -hmm. a part of the family. Yeah. And you was like saying like that's how a man is with you. Yeah. So what do a man got to do to earn your respect to be a made man for Jazzy? It's a couple <laughs> things. It's a couple things. One is just being open. Like I need somebody that's open and mm -hmm. and open to just. Because men don't talk, you know? Like, mm -hmm. y'all don't talk about y'all issues and stuff. Like, I need you to be willing to get past that point. Mm -hmm. Where it's like, this can't be a barrier for us. Like, we have to talk. Communication is key. For sure. And then you have to be driven. Like, the thing I love about my boyfriend is, like, he his drive inspires me. Okay. To the point where it's like, damn, I can't be basic today. He over here knocking this out and yeah, yeah, doing exactly. all this on his like end. That. Like, yeah, yeah. no, I got to step my shit up. So, yeah. it's like, I need somebody in my corner like that. Mm -hmm. And then... Of course, you got to look good because mm. I don't fuck with names. <laughs> but you have to look good. <laughs> but I'm not big on, um, I've never been superficial. Like, I'm not the woman that's, oh, he got to have this and he got to give me the 40 ball. Like, <laughs> no, like, I've never been superficial. Yeah. I would probably, actually, I will. I will struggle before I tell my dude, like, hey, like, yeah. something. Because I'm just... I don't know. That's just how I'm built. Like, I don't like asking for shit. Like, I've, yeah. well, I've had, you know, uh, people that sugar daddies in the past that provide. <laughs> sugar daddy. But I don't, it, when it's my guy, like, mm. no, I'm not doing that. How old were these sugar daddies? <laughs> okay, that's the question you ain't supposed to ask. Oh, see, I but, asked you. <laughs> but on this, no, on this podcast, it was just, you know, you young, you wild and free. Yeah. Yeah. 
Sugar Dad, Sugar Daddy Jones got like what my ill said got about thousand keys on the keychain. No, they but, wasn't granddaddy. Okay, cool, super, cool. Super old, so. Yeah, all right, we get off that because you do got a boyfriend. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what the hell are you talking about, Jazzy? <laughs> so speaking of, you know, how, how long y'all been together then? A year and like six months. Ago. Okay. 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 So what's some things that get Jazzy attention from a dude? Like, what do he do? Like, you know, what I'm saying, do he sell you a drink? Right, no. poetry. Like, what you got to do to get do your attention? Do not sell like? me a dream. <laughs> like, I literally, I hate that. I hate when people try to, first of all, I hate when you bait me with money. Yeah. I do not like when men try to, hey, like, I should take you shopping. I should do this. Like, yeah. off rip, because I know that you're, that's, that's what, what you, you do. think well, that's what is going to win yeah. me. And mm. that's like, okay, like, anybody could do that. Mm. Or I don't like people, I hate the dudes that talk to themselves in your inbox, mm. where you see I'm not responding, don't keep hitting me up. Like, yeah, I'm not going terrible. to reply. And especially yeah. if you see that I read that shit, yeah. I'm really not going to hey, reply. Be, oh, yeah. I, if you seen it, yeah, you already know, like, uh, niggas do some lame stuff, man. Yes, but I, my boyfriend, like, we met organically. Like, I like when you meet people not online and mm. they don't know about you, what you look like online or mm. anything about your page. Like, we just met and it was just it was cool like yeah. we just had a good vibe mm -hmm. and it was just different yeah. and um memorable like yeah. you have to be memorable mm -hmm. what will y'all meet at if you don't mind me asking floods <laughs> <laughs> we did we did meet at floods the funny thing is i was there um to meet a female mm -hmm. and i was trying to kind of like get to know different women be more open because i'm very introverted sometimes okay. so i'm yeah. like well let me go out this girl we've been kicking it yeah. um so on social media so i'm like oh we should go out yeah so i was waiting on her mm -hmm. and then i met him in the mm -hmm. process and we just had this vibe so when she got there it was just like okay whatever yeah yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. um you know like it was cool mm -hmm. but um that is somebody you meet like on, on a friendship basis or like we tried to be well, we, she liked you I didn't know. That's why. And yeah. then so I was telling okay, him, yeah, we had yeah. a whole conversation because yeah. I'm like, I don't know if she want to fuck yeah, or yeah. like if we just here to kick <laughs> it. Like, I don't know what the vibe is. So that's how yeah. we actually started talking. <laughs> but yeah. he was just different. Yeah. He was yeah. different. Yeah. That's funny. Now you say that like, because I think he might have, you might have this on the top of your show, or whatever, bringing somebody into the bedroom with y'all. Of course, ain't going to be no other dude because shit, hell no. Nah. But with woman, I say I couldn't do it because what if I'm at work and my wife and this girl is still mess around behind, while I'm not there? I'm good. I can't do it. Oh, see, you you could tell when you hear certain things that men say. You see, can tell what type of man they are. But it gotta be like this. If I'm if I were to do that, you know, if if I wasn't married, it'd be two chicks that I don't know. It can't be my girl and then another chick because I'm like, shit, you know, you know, she might do some things a little bit better than that thing. You know, you coming home from work on a hard day. And they in the bed like, damn, should I be mad? Is this cheating? Like, <laughs> like <laughs> I think it's, it might be cheating. Like, should I get, should I hit somebody? Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna walk out before I go to jail <laughs> for for uh, abuse or whatever. So yeah, what you feel about that? Would you would you, you be open to that? And if you don't want to, no, hell no. Nah. Yeah. My thing is, <laughs> and I'm not against threesomes. Like, yeah. you know, because people say that shit, but at the end of the day, I don't want that with my with my wife. Like, I'm good. No, like I'm not I'm not sharing my dude. Mm -hmm. Like because I'm not giving you the opportunity. To be better. To be, yes. Yeah. No, I'm not doing that. Yeah. I'm not. Yeah, for sure. I like, know that, like, I I love the bond that we have. I love the bond we have sexually. And it's just like, mm -hmm. I'm not fucking with that. Yeah, yeah. I have to, no. Yeah, not. I'm seeing red. Cause yeah. I was just, no. Now, do, we, do, we, uh, do we have kids? Mm-mm. No. So he was all he was cool with like you know saying you got two kids two mm -hmm. girls he was good with that he get along with like how 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 long did it take for you to like kind of introduce them to each other? <sighs> super 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 long because I'm yeah, you even now so. like I don't and it's not about like trust mm -hmm. but it's just that mama lying like yeah. even if we don't work out my girls are super loving and I don't want them to be attached to you and then you're gone yeah for sure. so i'd rather you break my heart than break their heart so i'm mm -hmm. just like i'm not i wasn't ready for that it took a long time before i was like okay like you can come around like we yeah. literally see each other every two weeks even mm -hmm. still because it's like i have my kids this week yeah. and then this week they're with their dad yeah, so yeah. it's like i try to keep that separate mm -hmm. um he has um interacted with them and it's starting to now be yeah. more involved now that i see where your head is at and that this is going to be something that we both feel is long term it's like yeah. okay now yeah, yeah i can i can slowly yeah, start yeah, to introduce yeah, like yeah, he yeah. literally um just met my parents um 
was it Halloween? Dang, so y'all was kicking for a nice little minute before you even... Yeah. Dang, you were you But like, I'm just very... I'm trying to make sure this is the one. <laughs> yeah, I don't... I'm not... I just can't bring home yeah, something then, that I'm not sure of. And then, yeah, then next time, like, well, uh, what Dante is like, oh, yeah, we didn't work yeah. out. Yeah, <laughs> so now, like, our bond is tight. Like, I feel like this is something... Yeah. Like, we in here. Yeah. So... I'm cool with it now. Yeah. yeah. All right, let me ask you this. I I stole this question. I heard it. It was like, damn, that's a good question. When last, what's the last thing somebody done to you, for you romantically? What's been a romantic date moment? Because I am not romantic at all. I'm not going to lie. I need some help. I can say, honestly, <laughs> like, that's probably how he um, got my attention the most. The first romantic thing he did was um pay for my car to get out of empire <laughs> oh shoot <laughs> that was super romantic look it was a long story but yeah. he came he was a knight in shining armor <laughs> because i i almost got a dui that night oh, that was shoot, just a bad night it was a bad night <laughs> take that liquor back <laughs> no i'm good you see i'm so slippy yeah. slip, so slippy i don't want you to be like i was on shine podcast <laughs> Nah, but um he came to my rescue like i I was not expecting that we had just met like it wasn't yeah. and he didn't want nothing like we yeah. weren't intimate at that time like he was mm. just a good man and like yeah. saw i needed the help and he's like no like you need your car yeah. you have kids like mm. and i was just like yeah i hit my girls i'm like you gotta be something wrong with this nigga like <laughs> what's wrong with him because Duh. i haven't did nothing and he just like but yeah. he was just super yeah. genuine a good dude huh good yeah. man and That's i always <laughs> tell my friends like a man will show you who he is yeah. like beforehand we just women don't listen like for sure listen to men's talk like how they treat their family what they yeah. think about their mom like oh, yeah. listen to all that stuff yeah, and yeah, you can yeah. figure out okay this is a, a good man yeah good man good man yeah. man be a good man stay a good man <laughs> <laughs> but uh so so y'all you know y'all been together a little a little bit over a year mm -hmm. just met moms just starting to meet the kids or whatever uh is it like on your mind like all right say y'all go another year do you start thinking like damn when this dude proposed to me. No pressure on you, cuz. Nope. Yeah, oh, for real. Cuz, I've been married before. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. I've been married Talk before. And I rushed it. And he's a great guy. Like, I would never. Is, your kids? Yeah. Probably, okay. I would never down him or say anything bad about him. Like, he's a really good dad. Yeah. He's super involved. It's just, we weren't a match. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, I had to then try to figure out like okay do i try to stick it out yeah. for the kids mm -hmm. or do you just stay in the unhappy situation like or are you what are you gonna do so yeah. we end up getting divorced okay and it was hard like i don't wish divorce on anybody because yeah. it's it's mentally even if you think like oh we're we not supposed to be together but yeah. that process yeah, yeah it's yeah. draining it's super draining yeah but um so no like when it comes to marriage mm -hmm. i look at it for what it is now i don't want to make a mistake or I feel like it needs to be rushed because yeah. that's that's a lifetime yeah. with somebody yeah yeah yeah. i just got married uh what four months ago oh, uh, july 10th yeah i did it i did that thing congratulations. <laughs> i was scared though i got always like man me getting married oh hell no because i forgot who was on the show i've never seen marriage in my life mm. my mom and dad was together for 13 years and then it wasn't married like i never seen none of my people get married the only person i seen really get married was my aunt my brother and like i've been to four weddings in my life that's it mm. So like I said, you've been more more funerals than weddings, like oh, yeah. <laughs> for real. So I don't know what marriage is. So you know, once you give it the right person, you be like, damn, like things been getting better since I've been with you. Like and us as a whole was good. So why waste that's her the thing, time? Us this, as a whole this is a stupid. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, yeah, but that's the whole thing about it. So you know, I'm I'm a married ass nigga now. Like none of my friends is married. Nobody married. Yeah. So I, my I, thing is like, it feels good to know before you like do all that stuff like yeah. i don't know i feel like some people they just go with the flow and feel like okay we've been together long enough let's get married but it's like this is honestly my first time feeling like i'm fully into somebody like where usually it's like you know you keep like something a little black book in the back of your head <laughs> yeah. like okay i know if this nigga fuck up it's, yeah. this nigga still gonna go hard for me <laughs> so it, yeah. This is my first time you where I just, garbage, I huh? don't give a fuck about these niggas. Like, yeah. I really don't. And oh, it's just sure. like, when people try, like, that nigga's still here. I'm like, yeah, he is. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm going to try this much. <laughs> yeah, it's just different. Like, and I've, like, I love him. He's my best friend. Like, he goes super hard for me. He's business minded. So it's just like. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. You know? Good man. Yeah. I ain't going to say ask the name, but good man, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but, um, all right, let me ask you this. You've been married. You know what I'm saying? You got two kids with this guy. 
did you have they met? Mm. Do 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 you feel the need that they need to meet? No. For what? Hmm. Hmm. For what? Uh, okay, let me tell you. Okay, look, my 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 situation. You know, when um my son and mom got with somebody, I felt like it was I I got to meet this dude because I know my son's gonna see this dude. You I know guess what I'm it's because he hasn't put any type of urgency on it as yeah. well. Oh yeah, I'm putting that urge. I'm putting that pressure. Yeah, right it's like Come here, I don't ask here. him about his relationships or yeah. who he's with. Like in the beginning, I wanted to, yeah. and in the beginning, it's like you want to ask the kids, like, you know anybody over here? <laughs> yeah. but I trust him as a parent, yeah. and I trust him as a partner in raising our kids. So mm. it's like. I trust your judgment. Yeah. I want you to be happy. Yeah. And I feel like he feels the same way about me. And he knows, like, I'm not just bringing niggas around my kids. Yeah. Like, that's not the issue. I still got to I still got to see my own eyes. <laughs> you know, but what? What you going to see? Because I'm going to have a conversation. I feel like, like, with me and um my uh my uh, son, mom, his or her husband, we had a conversation. I'm like, I just let him know, like, listen, man, like, you know what I'm saying? Hey, good to meet you. I know you're going to be my son's life. If anything ever go, you know what I'm saying, down with him, he acting stupid, he ain't listening to you, you know what I'm saying, whatever. You know, hit me up. You go, you hit me up, whatever. We can, you know, just let me know what's going on. If you being when disrespectful. When did this conversation happen? Off the rip. When, you, when she first said she had a boyfriend? It's like once they started being serious. Mm -hmm. Like when they were serious for real. And like, it was like, damn, she ain't introduced me to this dude. One time, he pulled up him, her, and my son. So I'm like, fuck it, I'm going to the car. Mm -hmm. I came to the car, went to his window, like, what up, dog, how you doing? And then introduced myself. He introduced himself and stuff, and we, we talked it out. Cause I just wanted to know, I just wanted to know, like, hey man, you ain't got to be, you know, playing daddy to my son. He got my son got dad, but you know, saying if he around and something go down and he ain't listen to his mama being disrespectful, you hit me up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now the first dude she had, it was almost a war, mm. cause that nigga was just stupid. And, and it, like I be calling his uh, my 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 uh, my son mom talking about my son and he be in the background like, what the fuck you want? So, yeah, oh, nah. I'm glad she ain't with That's that dude. Flag on the plane. Yeah, I'm glad she ain't with that dude because everybody about to be involved and it was about to be a, yeah, it was about to be a problem. Big problem. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I, I feel like it ain't got to be your job to introduce them. I just be like, that's me. That's just me talking. Like, I just want to see who might be around my kids and stuff and see if he like, if he a cool dude because what you think cool could be different from what I think cool. Come right okay, on. so if you think it's not cool, then what is the solution after that? I'm going to talk to you like, listen, Jazzy. <laughs> girls ain't coming around that dude. <laughs> like, like it, it might be because it, it could be something he know about that dude that you might not know. It could mm -hmm. be like he know him through somebody and heard some shit about him or whatever like that. You just gotta be careful with the kids in, in the play. Yeah. And like I said, you can. I'm quite sure you probably you know what I'm saying you ain't gonna bring no random dude. Like you said, it took a while for him to meet your girl. But I just gotta see. You know how you got the interview when you meet with the one dude, but then you gotta meet with that dude higher. I'm that dude higher. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let me, let me talk to you, man. She said you cool. Let me see if you cool. This man. thing, I, like you said, I feel like it's not on me. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like if he was to come to me and say yeah. that, mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to it. Like, mm -hmm. I'm not opposed to him meeting him. Mm -hmm. It's just, it hasn't been presented. So it's I like, mm -hmm. ain't no error right now. So it's like, we good. Everybody yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Everybody good. I was going to stay that way. But yeah. Mm -hmm. like, hey, man, meet that nigga. <laughs> Hey, look, don't be putting no so, idea. No, just, <laughs> just to make sure. <laughs> but go back to your music, though. You had, like, these two singles drop. What was Magic Woman about? Like I said, you got, I told your brother you got a good voice and stuff. And, like, who who got bad voice? That cat, like a Cassie or something like that. Like, mm. <laughs> she, she she just got looks. I don't think she can sing for real. But, like, with that, what, what's Magic Woman? What's that about? Magic Woman was actually about the first time that I met my um, current boyfriend. Okay. So it was just a magical moment and it was just like I'm very spiritual and into like um different fragrances and herbs and stuff that I wear and like that one night in yeah. particular I had on this attraction oil <laughs> and I'm just like that's how I met your ass. Mm -hmm. Like you was trying to say it was on you, but I had this attraction oil, you ain't even know. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, that, the whole thing <laughs> got you right, hooked you. Spider so the whole thing ass. was like <laughs> Um, <laughs> like I've always done my own thing and always had like that allure. Mm -hmm. I feel and I took like that was my whole song was just like you thought that you're the one that did all this, but yeah. it's really me. Like yeah. it's the magic that you sensed yep. that you found. The like potion. yeah, so <laughs> it was just one of those because we had that talk and we yeah. still be having that talk because he still yeah. think he did it. But like, girl, put that put that put that smell back on. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, so um, now I seen that you was on another show. 
you know, this is the best show you've ever been on, by the way. <laughs> but I was on another show. You was talking about, like, I always ask people, what do they need? <laughs> and for real, in the studio. And you, I see that you got, like, candles and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. What is that, like, do I just make you feel comfortable? Yeah, like, well, um, back to my spirituality. Like, a lot of times I pray before I do a... Uh... A session even mm -hmm. if it's something like a beat that i really really like mm -hmm. and i want like the session to just the mood to be great yeah. like i pray before and just like yeah. come on like all them creative yeah. juices and then i always which you know some people don't don't fuck with the uh yeah. the drugs and shit <laughs> but now, you know, now when we was talking going back and forth and stuff you used to my edible so like you, yes. don't, you don't smoke at all like i uh, used to smoke heavy yeah Oh, not very really heavy. But A, I don't like the smell in the house with the kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then B, I don't want to mess up my vocals. So yeah. it's like when I started doing the edibles, um, I figured out, like, first I took a hybrid. Mm -hmm. And I literally had this moment when I was on the couch and I was watching Law & Order. And I, <laughs> it started to creep me out because I felt like I was in the scene. <laughs> and then I just started to get higher and higher. I'm like, oh, yeah, scary. mentally, like... Um, we ain't doing shit today. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, it's yeah. a wrap. Go lay down. Yeah, for sure. So I switched over to just straight sativa. Mm -hmm. And it's just like it taps in like yeah. to this next creative level where I'm just like super locked in, hearing yeah. everything. And yeah. it's, it's just been kind of like just fun. Yeah, we is scary. We is not scary. Oh, it's scary for me. Because <laughs> I just start thinking like it's too hard. Like it's been times I was down here in this spot smoking and I'm thinking what he thinking about me. Mm, like, damn, this, this nigga think I'm hot. Well, do you pay attention to the strand that you do? I don't pay attention. I just smoke whatever they well, got. Well, see, that's the problem. <laughs> like, he told me, calm down. I'm like, nigga, you crazy? No, nah, you got to yeah. I mean, be boy, a kind of sewer. Yeah, so yeah. I'm thinking about him, thinking about me. And I'm like, dog, I got to prove this nigga wrong. But this nigga is just a random ass nigga out of fucking 10 people that's down here smoking. <laughs> I'm like, what this nigga, why this nigga think this? Like, I told you at the time, my son could rob me, my four-year-old. Mm. He kept jumping. Like, the way he was jumping was like, I don't know. It was just weird. I thought it was like Chucky. I'm like, this is a motherfucker. Get, him, get, get this nigga away from me, dog. Get this little boy. Hey, come, come get him. But yeah, nah. that's why I can't do no edible. Fuck, forget that. No, I, I just smooth. had to learn what works for me because I can't do straight indica. I can't do hybrids. Yeah, but yeah, sativa, I don't know stuff. sativa got me in my zone. Like, I'm, yeah. sativa is a more productive. Well, for me, because it yeah. it hit different people differently. But so, so you can be going off that in the studio and you you creating. You got mm -hmm. you good to go. I can be up all night. Yeah. With me, see, with me, when I don't go to the studio. It's just water. Water. I don't think I should have liquor because last time we no, had liquor. I really like liquor in the studio. Yeah, it was bad. Like, I kept messing up. Like, damn, I'm sweating. I'm I'm all like, man, I ain't can't get shit right. Mm -hmm. The two times we, we drunk was with Buns with the 1800. And then this last time we had the crown. I'm like, damn, I can't do shit right. Like, no, I can't drink. I just I recited this song word for word a thousand times at the crib. And now I can't get the first bar out without messing up. Like, yeah, no, so, I mess up my focus. So you got three singles out. What's up with a project? Like, are you like gonna be like I'm just gonna keep giving y'all singles, or I'm gonna give y'all a whole body of work? My thing is, I'm trying to. I feel like you need to build first. Mm -hmm. Like first, start putting out singles. Mm -hmm. I feel like people focus on putting the project out, but nobody knows you yet. Yeah. Why well, put out a full project when you haven't created your buzz, built your market, like mm -hmm. tested the water? So right now, it's like I want to constantly push myself to be consistent and yeah. put out music. Yeah. But I'm not giving out a whole body of work until yeah. I master this marketing shit, master branding. Like mm -hmm. I want the impact to be greater. Okay. when i release a whole full project yeah yeah so when you do it are you gonna do like the new wave as far as like not giving too much music maybe 10 songs or whatever like that i'm or, thinking yeah ep uh, yeah. something real short but honestly like i have so many songs like, i got like at least like 14 mm. 14 15 songs and are you good with somebody writing for you if they wrote a song for you i'm just now getting to that point because i write all my stuff and yeah. it's just like Mm, I don't trust you to do it the way I want, but my yeah. cousin, um, shout out to him, my cousin Tony is actually like, it was funny, I was getting my hair braided by her, his sister, yeah. okay. and she's like, oh, Tony can, Tony can write, yeah. Tony can, is not, you know, sometimes you hear that and yeah. it's just like, oh, okay, yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. but she told him like, oh, put that beat on, and he like put the beat on, mm. and just like he was like okay i'm not a good singer but this is what i wrote and just go with it yeah. i'm like still like okay yeah, yeah, get yeah. my hair braided but he did that shit and it was just like yeah what That's i'm like up. you are super talented like his writing skills are just amazing and yeah. this so he actually wrote a song for me that we're gonna be working on but uh that's the first person that i've ever mm. let write a song that's what's up so so you probably put out a project sometime next summer then right i ain't giving no exact so then, no, i said to say maybe. this listen I'm gonna write you a song. 
<laughs> and you go and you tell me if you if you like it next. No, that's my next thing. I do I do music. I, I rap and stuff like that. But I'm trying <clears throat> I'm trying to figure out how to write for people. Mm. I want to be a person in the background. So I'm gonna come up with a song. I'm gonna give I'm gonna send you the reference and you tell me what it, what you think. Okay. If you like it. I'm, I'm gonna tell you if that shit we gonna, trash. We gonna rock with it. <laughs> and, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Cause that's that's my that's my new thing. I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna be right. I wanna be like uh goddamn young bird and shit. He hit maker not. Yeah. Give that me, was my thing. Like give me I crack initially, out like before <laughs> releasing Magic Woman, I'm just like, well, maybe I should just be a writer. Yeah. Because I mean, cool you know, too, but I felt like for me, like I understand where you're going with it, but like for me, it was a level of self doubt in my mm. artistry. Yeah. Because it's just like, oh, if I could be a writer, I could just still be in music, but play yeah. the background. Yeah. But yeah. but that's because I was scared of all it takes to be an artist, and yeah. it's like. No, nah, because every time I tried to write something that and give it to somebody, I'm like, no, nah, I think I want to keep this. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's that's, like, no. That's the problem like, a lot of people have when they talk about writing for people because mm-hmm. it might be adult. But I don't know. It just depends on if you could take yourself out of out of your body if that makes sense and see what you can like talk about being someone else. Yeah. Like, but you know I, think, I definitely think um, I still do want to write for people. Mm. But I also want to be an artist, and I also I'm trying to learn the whole um, engineering game, like because yeah. I I record all my stuff, but I have an engineer that I send it to. Mm. Shout out to him, is super super dope. Yeah. But um, I try to I just want to be a student of okay. the game fully. Like I don't want it to be anything that I can't do. Like if somebody tell me, oh I can't do this today, like I want to be like, you know what? Mm. Don't worry about it. I'm about to mix this shit real quick. Like I just want to know yeah. all of it and just be an entity. So. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah, so we got we gonna have that collab. Um, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Jazzy song written by uh, Shy. Our dog host part two. It's gonna be talking about the uh, no, the dudes. No, <laughs> hey, our dog host. If I see that title in my email, I dog niggas. I'm sending it to spam. Not just one ball niggas. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though. So uh, with, with the so you got that music stuff. I you got you know what I'm saying you gonna drop a project soon. You know what I'm saying? But you're going to keep feeding the streets with singles and stuff like that. What's something that you would have changed starting off doing music? Would it have been not taking that gap, not taking that space, you know what I'm saying, because your daughters? Or would it have been like you would start earlier? Like what, what's something you would have had changed up as far as your start? Um, I would probably research mm-hmm. more. Um, I feel like, I used to feel like that gap was a crippling thing. Mm-hmm. The years that I've been gone, it's like, okay, now I got kids, I'm a little older. Mm-hmm. But it's like, no, because music is timeless, and I feel like I'm more mentally sound yeah. now to release stuff. Yeah. Because I feel like, you know, once you reach 30s, it's like, shit start getting serious, and yeah, you look like, at things yeah, differently, sure. like, okay, what do I want to do in life? Yeah. Where am I going? What's my direction? So it's like, now I'm mentally more clear than in my teens, early 20s, where it's just mm. like, I'm just trying to get lit. Yeah. Where the bottle's at? <laughs> Hell yeah. I just want to be in the club. So sure. now it's like, I feel like this is a perfect time to release music, especially with the world kind of slowing down. And the fact that a lot of us are on the same playing field with these major artists because they're not yeah. touring. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. like, this is a great time to emerge in the music game. This You just got to know. And like that's why I've been studying. Like I told um, one of my friends, like I'm going to take probably the rest of the year off to just... The, the, market the, the couple and songs. study yeah. yeah and then just keep pouring into the ones that i already yeah. have out now don't, just don't take them five years off oh no, no. <laughs> <laughs> For real. so all right the last uh well, this might be the last music question but uh if you had to have a make in the band one album and it's you and three other people anybody any other three people who would it be mm. one that i say jeremiah because i just i love oh, jeremiah speaking of him hey get well because he in icu for the whole oh, covid man. and stuff like they say it was real. It was kind of bad. So hopefully he oh get through God. that. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, definitely Jeremiah. That's one of my favorite uh, singers and just all around mm-hmm. artists. And um, I always wanted to do a song with Erica Badu. Oh yeah. And y'all can y'all put the incense on. Yes. Yeah. Yes, Erica. And so you say Erica Badu. Uh, I get three. Jeremiah and yeah, third Rick James. No. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I like you don't want you don't want no uh no rapper in there like a kind of like a rapper. Yeah, that's like, what I was thinking. Like yeah, kind of like mix into the R and B real a little bit. No, I think I'll do uh this new artist I like Giveon. Who okay. is just his voice is amazing. I never heard no R and B guy that's like a bass like he mm. has a super bass voice, but it's just so yeah. soothing. So yeah. Yes. Yeah, so who is some new R and B singers that you do mess with besides besides him? Like, um, I mess with her, tough. Yep. Uh, what's the girl? Kiana Lede. 
Okay. I really, I, I really think, like I, her. I, I know, yeah. And she like like light skinned chick, like mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. I really like her. Of course, Janae is like my go to. I have every single album, mixtape, anything that she yeah, ever back did. Back in the day, I like I like her older her her older music. Then I I like it better than now. I liked her from what was it? The song she had at the end of the B2K album, Dog. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> I liked her from that moment. Yeah, because she like is a little fierce I used to love that song. Man, that's funny. But yeah, yeah definitely her. Um, Queen Naja too, like yeah, I heard about her. I, I didn't really used to pay attention to her like that, mm-hmm. but this album that she has out now is yeah. is so good, and okay. I I feel like she's coming from the same place that I'm like as far as being a parent and industry trying to be industry, yeah. and all that stuff. So I can relate to her. So okay, yeah, cool, cool, cool. Now we do this one little thing called uh, top goddamn three. Mm-hmm. So your top three childhood crushes. Bow Wow, J Wood. <laughs> Goddamn. And ooh, Lil Zane. <laughs> I used to like Lil Zane. Especially when he was on Dr. Who, Doolittle too. What was that song he had, dog? Damn, I'm trying to think of Lil Zane's song. I can't remember no Lil Zane song. I just remember he was on uh, Anywhere with 112, the remix. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, Lil anyway. Goddamn Zane. All right, give me your, uh, <laughs> your top three movies. Mm. American Gangster. Okay. Devil's Advocate. Mm. And mm, number three will probably be. Dang, I can't think of a third one. Shit, Friday gotta be in that way. No. Goddamn. I like mental, like stuff where. Yeah. Oh, what's the movie? Is it Focus with Will Smith? I when believe. When he was a pickpocket. Oh, yeah, 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 with him and that white girl and stuff. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's why I love okay. that movie. Give me your. All right, I'm just give me your top three of duck crushes right, since you was a duck. I Odell Beckham, <laughs> Drake. Drake, goddamn it. And number four, Will Smith. Mm. This is type. weird, but I <laughs> loved uh, ASAP Rocky. ASAP Rocky. Yes. Who, who don't I say ASAP? Oh, he like Chad Ocho Cinco and shit. <laughs> All yeah. right, your top three uh, foods. Sushi. Mm-hmm. Uh, anything with shrimp in it. Oh, I, yeah, love I, love, shrimp. I love some goddamn shrimp. Hell yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> and then this new thing that I've been making is like, because I'm on keto, this little keto diet. Oh yeah, me and my, my wife is on keto, but then she got pregnant, so we off keto. No. <laughs> <laughs> when she get off pregnancy, we probably go back on keto. <laughs> yeah, but I do like this pizza. Like it's a piece of this, but it's just without the crust. And yeah. It's so good. So you can, you can cook? Oh yeah. I All got right. a whole food album. <laughs> what, what's your, uh, what's your, What's a must have on Thanksgiving and a must you don't have? A must, a no no on Thanksgiving? Greens. Because I love oh, greens. Oh, what kind of greens though? Collard greens. Okay, you good. Okay. Because <laughs> <laughs> mustard greens and turnip greens, they okay, no, but them collards no. be good. And what's something that you said, don't bring this shit to Thanksgiving? I don't fix. like cranberry sauce. I cannot stand cranberry what sauce. What the hell is wrong? I don't what like the- it. I don't like crazy? it when they take it out the can and then make the yes. same shape. No. I, when, on Thanksgiving, I bring my own cranberry sauce no. to it. <laughs> because you, you put that cranberry sauce on top of the dressing. Oh. Oh, my God. I'm about to I cry. I'm fucking with it. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm hurt. I'm almost as hurt as the one girl on the show who said she didn't know what the hell dressing was. Oh, wow. I'm hurt. <laughs> I'm really hurt, though. All right. Last one. Your top three TV shows. Hmm. I don't really watch TV. Old, young, cartoons. Okay. Uh, Moesha. I used Moesha. to love that. Girlfriends. Yeah, yeah. Girlfriends, hell yeah. I love girlfriends. And, um, I think Family Guy. Family Guy? Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. You've seen cool. Like, you, you tell that's some weed smoking stuff, type of stuff right there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, you know, it's, it's one, my homegirl Chase wanted me to incorporate this when we do our podcast, but I was going to try it with you. It's, I'm still in from Snoop Dogg with the GGN. All right. Hot or cold? You got to pick one. Hot cold. or cold? All right. What? what? Uh, liquor or beer? Liquor. Okay, okay, okay. Night or day? Night. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Spring or summer? Spring. Okay. Top or bottom? Top. <laughs> <laughs> I was not prepared for that one. <laughs> I, that, that, was, that was just a freestyle. A freestyle. <laughs> Pop or Kool-Aid? Pop. All right. Uh Oh. Dress better in the winter or dress in the summer? Better in the winter. All right, yeah, hell yeah, okay. All right, yeah, that's something. I'm, I'm, I'm coming up with some more. That was just off the fly, off the, off the <laughs> dome and stuff. Yeah, top of bottom, you never know. Sure. <laughs> hell yeah. Dark or white? White, actually. Oh, hell no. We, we um, disagree. We disagree. All right, well, speaking of, 
hot moment or drunk moment. Give me a funny story. Cause you been to the club, so you gotta have a story. You say you was a club expert, like mm -hmm. myself. So give me a, a funny story when you was high or drunk. Ah, uh, hmm. It's a lot of them. Let's see. Okay, I know my one of my most memorable club moments. Mm -hmm. It was my birthday. And literally, as soon as I walked in, because I had a little birthday pan on. <laughs> so everybody started buying me drinks. Like, oh, let me get you a drink. Let oh, me get you. I had them lined up. Yeah. This was before anybody really even arrived. It was just me and my one of my girlfriends. But mm -hmm. um, they, I don't know what happened. I think she told me, like, oh, you know, your boobs look so great in that dress. <laughs> and I was like, oh, yours too. She's like, oh, can I touch it? I was like, oh, yeah. Well, and then, some, like, <laughs> it ended up. Like being a whole like we, I didn't even participate in my birthday because yeah. we left. <laughs> like, oh, uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. So it was a it was an interesting high moment birthday yeah. moment. So it was high drunk. So you, yeah, so, it was it was a little bit both. So about that. So with that story, like both of y'all was like kind of like intrigued by each other, like you know, saying top parts of your body. <laughs> She's pretty much yeah. something like that. Yeah, but, I, went, yeah, I went to the crib and you know. Yeah. Yeah, that dang. was my first experience. Shout out to her. Is that still my friend? Yeah, let me yeah. stop thinking real quick. But um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So see, yeah, okay. But um, so with that, like, so you never be like, did y'all keep in touch with us? A, a, a one hit a quitter? Like, no, we when? never. Nothing ever happened after that. Hmm. Um, she had a girlfriend actually. Oh, but yeah, interesting. Yeah. What? what uh, when, when your birthday? Summer? January. January. Oh, you got a terrible 27. birthday. Damn, that's terrible. I always feel bad for people who got birthdays in the winter time. Like, yeah, it does suck outside. But who was you with? The, who who was you with for you just to leave my like dad though? I don't remember. Like, that was kind of that was kind of messed up. Like that. It was a lot of people. Okay. They started coming. Like then, then we, we came like, for your we birthday. We'll see you in a minute. Oh shoot! Okay. Dang, dang. Okay, but uh, I wasn't expecting that story. But <laughs> that was the story. first one that I could think of. Yeah, I wasn't was supposed to tell though. that story, but yeah. it was the first one off the top of the dome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. interesting story. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. No, my, speaking of birthdays, my my boy Reds. I'm gonna bring him back up. I remember he was so drunk one day off Seagram Gin that he like cuffed this girl private area. Like cuffed, yeah, yeah. Not hard, but he got like grabbed. Donald Trump cuffed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Just like that, he grabbed the, you know, grabbed the, <laughs> you know, what I'm saying cootie meat, and um, she was like, "I'm gonna beat your motherfucking ass." I'm like, "Dog, chill, chill, chill." I'm like, "Listen, there's no excuse for what he just did, but he drunk as ever. I got him. Get him. Come and beat his ass." And he wound up like leaving. I'm like, "Damn, he must have left for, the, you know, he must have left the club with some girl." And I go outside. He buy my car. Winter time. Was it? No, it was my birthday. But he was by the car, just slumped over, throwing up. By the car waiting for me, like so we had to pick him up, take him in the house, and he had always throw up by the car, like dog, this nigga is ridiculous drunk, like crazy oh, wow. drunk, damn. So uh, you know, you gave a good, a good story, good story, <laughs> um, but um, get the people, you know, where they can find you at your social media, your where they can find your music at, all that good stuff. Um, my social media Instagram is at naturally underscore jazzy. That's J A Z E, mm. and it's jazzy. E, actually, naturally underscore jazzy e on Twitter as well. Mm. Um, actually, across all the platforms except Facebook. Facebook is Jasmine Victoria, and then I have my artist page, Jazzy too. I was yeah. looking for you on Facebook just so I could see if I could dig up some dirt, but nah, I ain't know. So nah, you know, sneaky. Hey, I'm a I'm a dirt diggler. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, we always end this, the the show off with a last minute. It could be a saying, it could be a, a a poem. It could be like, don't go, don't do drugs. Like, what you want to end the world off? From uh, what's your what's some end of the words? End of the word. End of the podcast words from jesse <laughs> god damn it <laughs> what do you want um, to get people some some knowledge or whatever yes knowledge funny. ownership ownership is everything take the time to invest in yourself you are never too old to invest in yourself never That's you me. are um everything that you say you are just believe it and put it in the subconscious and manifest that shit oh hell yeah yeah and that's that's one thing you really gotta understand like you're never too old for to do whatever you gotta do school maybe i don't know you too old to have kids? <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> All right, I'm gonna leave people off with um for this for girl this for guys and women. If you dog one hoe, dog <laughs> all hoes. I dog hoes. Shout <laughs> 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 for everybody, man. Peace. <laughs>